Hey friends, this is Josh Hayward and welcome to another edition of the Find Your Craft Show. We're on episode 96 and I have a very amazing beer for you guys this evening. This is one of my favorite local Charlotte beers. I look forward to it every year. This is the Frubach from Old Mecklenburg Brewery out of Charlotte, North Carolina. A little bit of background on Old Mech. Old Mech is a traditional German style craft brewery started in 2009 by Mr. John Marino. This, this brewery is very unique and that throughout the brewery, you're only gonna find German beer, you're only gonna find German food. Uh, no pale ales, no IPAs, nothing like that, but they do the German style incredibly well. Another interesting note is Old Mech adheres to the traditional German purity laws of Reinheitsgebot, which states that beer, I can't remember the year that they instated this, but which states that beer will be brewed using only four ingredients, water, hops, malt, and yeast. And that's how Old Mech does it today. Um, they, they pride themselves on adhering to Reinheitsgebot and delivering some of the freshest beer in Charlotte, for sure. So uh, yeah, back to the Frühbach. Uh, Frühbach is a box style beer. Um, the box style actually ranges, it has a wide range. It's a, traditionally a strong lager of the German variety, uh, usually brewed in the fall and winter and drunk in the spring. Um, this particular beer, Fru, is the German word for early. So this is the early Bach. Um, another note on the Bach beers, they range in a variety of different colors from light and, and kind of like a straw golden, like the, the Helles Bach, onto the darker East Box and My Box and um, Doppel Box that you, you, you see a wide range of color, you know, um, like, uh, you know, everything from brown to tan to, to even some amber and then to dark and then even, even black, some of them looking almost like stouts. So uh, this is Frubach, one of my favorite Charlotte beers. I look forward to it every year. They usually bring it out, uh, I guess, the March time frame, uh, kind of the uh, the the kind of to usher in the springtime. So let's see what we've got. I could talk about this beer for ages. Um, like I said, it's always been one of my favorites. Even with that, I'll try to be as non-biased on the review as I can be. So. Let's see, we got a beautiful golden beer here, just absolutely perfect in that you can see completely through it, it's transparent, um, just very, very clear, very, very crisp as the lager should be, uh, no chill haze in that whatsoever, um, just very, very beautiful. As you get down to the bottom of the glass, you've even got, it, it even goes down to almost like a, a, a straw color um, there, but just a deep, deep, beautiful golden color here. A um, little bit of a head on there, not much. I didn't pour out the whole beer. We'll get a little motion on this uh, on this glass here. Um, kind of an off-white head on this beer, I would say, uh, between between white and off-white, and I guess about a centimeter right there. But uh, yeah, just a, a beautiful beer um, as this as this lager beer should be. So let's see what we've got on the nose. Oh wow. I tell you, a lot of the most recent reviews that I've done have been IPAs, pale ales, uh, very hoppy, hoppy type beers. And then to go to a German beer like this, it's, it's a, such a change of pace, but it's very refreshing at the same time. As I take a sniff of that, I'm getting a wonderful bready, bread crusty type aroma here. I'm getting some amazing German yeast notes, and I, I typically refer to that when I'm talking German beers. Um, the yeast strains used in a lot of those beers, um, I find that I have has a has a distinct uh, aroma and flavor that I can oftentimes pick up on. And then, yeah, just some freshness in there, some freshness like fresh uh, fresh herbs, fresh flowers, possibly from some of those hops. But yeah, this, this smells like a spring day. This smells like a, a brand new spring day. Like, uh, you know, this winter's over with, spring's here. So uh, yeah, let's see what we've got. Cheers. Or I should say Prost for uh, Old Met, the German brewery. Wow. Like I said a moment ago, I love IPAs, I love pale ales. I love the American styles, um, the things that we've changed, the things that we haven't. But I tell you, it's hard to go. It's hard to beat a good German beer. Going back to um, just the, the purity of it, um, the, the fact that 
is so simple yet so well done and so refined. I'm getting some phenomenal, again, similar to the aromas, just a phenomenal bready uh, characteristic. I'm thinking bread crust. I'm thinking pretzel. And uh, when I say pretzel, I'm not talking like the pretzels you pull out of your out of the bag from the grocery store. I'm talking like a uh, fresh made pretzel. Um, no salt, of course, but that breadiness from the pretzel. I, I'm getting some of that in here. I'm getting a nice sweetness that reminds me of uh, of uh, a very, very, very subtle dark fruit variety. Think like a raisin, but not not very, very heavy there, just very, very subtle. It's almost on the back of the palate. You're kind of getting uh, some of that nice sweetness in there. And as I continue to talk, it's it's coming through as well. Another another description, almost like caramel in a way, just the, the way that sweetness kind of sits on the back of your tongue. So you've got a nice solid maltiness in here, which is the base of the beer. And then to complement that maltiness, you have some amazing, um, I would say, I would say herbal and floral type hop varieties coming through, giving a freshness to the beer, a nice compliment, adding some nice bitterness, um, some nice bitterness and some nice aromatics for sure. This beer is not overly bitter. The malt is the forefront. It's a, it, there's a nice sweetness to it. It's light. It's refreshing. It's easy drinking. That uh, those those herbal herbal hops, uh, uh, floral hops, uh, possibly of a of a German uh, noble hop variety, um, just add an incredible freshness to the beer, which kind of goes in line with it being Frühbach, kind of the spring Bach, the spring beer. Uh, but yeah, it just goes so so well together. I could just finish this off now. But yeah, the strength of this beer, I feel, is the simplicity of it. The fact that it it's, it just dances on your palate, literally. I mean, you've got this nice sweetness and breadiness from the malt. You've got um, those amazing hop uh, flavors that come in there as well that kind of finish off the beer. A very, very pleasant bitterness. Uh, low, low, low on the bitterness, though. Very, very, very low. Um, very low compared to the things we've seen as of late. Um, but just so, so good. You want to continue to drink these. This is very, very light and easy drinking. Um, I believe I said that already. 6.0% ABV, but you wouldn't know it at all. Um, this this thing, I think it drinks like a, between a 4.5 and a 5.5. Five five. Um, just because it's, it's just so, so easy to, easy to drink. Uh, I wish I was kind of hanging out in one of these traditional German beer gardens with the uh, afternoon sun. Uh, Kind of hanging out over the over the brewery and beer garden while I can enjoy a few of these, but yeah, phenomenal beer here. Um, cheers to Old Mac. I've always been a fan. Um, one of the, the the first brewery I really fell in love with in Charlotte, um, and uh, they they just do what they do so well. Uh, again, adhering to traditional German purity laws of Reinheitsgebot and putting out phenomenal beers. Um, this is one of their specialty ones. You only comes out springtime, March. Run usually runs through June, maybe, before they start bringing in some of their summer beers. But yeah, phenomenal beer here from Old Mecklenburg Brewery. Cheers to Old Mech on this one. Uh, if you've had this beer, let me know. If you haven't, let me know, and I might could get you some. Uh, I've got a few of them here. Uh, but yeah, just a, an excellent, excellent beer. By the way, I when I launched my website last year, I actually gave away a six pack, a six pack of this. Um, for a website launch. It's a pretty cool thing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for following along. Cheers to you guys for uh, for participating, for, for talking back and forth, and for, for following along. And, and thanks so much for the dialogue. It's been amazing. I love doing this, and uh, hope, hopefully this is providing some value for you guys. Uh, if you'd like, give me a subscribe. Uh, shoot me a comment. We will definitely continue the dialogue. Cheers to Old Mac, cheers to amazing German beer, and cheers to you guys. Have a great night.